I think actors shouldn't depend upon directors. Really great directors are like really great actors. You're not aware you're being directed. I mean, the best directors give the least amount of notes. If any actor really wants to think about, you know, how do I find the emotion in something, all he has to do is watch a, 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 a real person in an interview who suddenly is asked a question about something that means a lot to them, and that person will go with no warning and no, um, no setup. That person will burst into tears or burst into laughter. Actors tend to warn you that they're going to do something inspired, like you know, great tears or great emotion. They tend to set it up in advance, and that isn't the way humans work. You know, we're overwhelmed by it. I've never written in a script in my life, except to put down somebody's phone number. You know, but I've never. No, I don't. I think the minute it goes from this and this and this into in my hand and on a piece of paper, it's worthless to me. I don't. I don't mark my script or write in it or. I just don't. I don't. I, somehow it's funny. Okay, like a blank piece of paper. Yeah, it is. It's just the words. You know? I always think if I if something happens that's good in rehearsal my visceral self will remember it. And if my visceral self doesn't remember it, it isn't worth keeping. I never have bought the cliché that the camera doesn't lie. The camera lies like a bandit. The camera can make you... First of all, the very fact that you're on the camera is already something in your favor. The fact that it has singled you out and is looking at you cuts you selective. out. It's selective. Selective, and you can, in fact, if you have a great camera face or an interesting offbeat quality, it can be regarded as talent. It's not. It's not talent. It's, it, you know, all the years and years and years of people imitating Brando, right. people would say, I want to I want to act like Brando. Mm -hmm. And the point is, nobody can behave like Marlon Brando. Marlon Brando's behavior, apart from his skills as an actor, his behavior is so unique to himself that you can imitate his style as much as you want. You're never going to be that. You're never going to be the essence of Marlon Brando. He can sit in front of a camera and captivate you in a way that someone else can't. Part of that isn't even Brando's talent. It's his aura. It's his, and sometimes, and his I'm, yeah, and his looks and his phenomenal uh, magnetism. So you could find somebody who has all of that magnetism and aura, who has no talent, and they could also become a movie star. Bones. You know, movie stars have great bones. They have faces that you want to look at over and over again. They comfort you, they excite you, they make you want to sleep with them, they make you want to talk to them, they want, you want to be their best friend or their lover. That's a movie star mm -hmm. to me.